Forward of Jetta of the Lowlands. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Richard Kilmer. Jetta of the Lowlands by Ray Cummings. Have you ever stood on the seashore with the breakers rolling at your feet and imagined what the scene would be like if the ocean water were gone? I have had a vision of that many times, standing on the Atlantic coast, gazing out towards Spain. I can envisage myself, not down at the sea level, but upon the brink of a height, Spain and the coast of Europe, off there upon another height. And the depths between, unreal landscape, mysterious realm, which now we call the bottom of the sea. Worn and rounded crags, bloated, mud plains, noisome reaches of ooze, which once were the cold and dark and silent ocean floor, caked and drying in the sun, and off to the south, the little fairy mountain tops of the West Indies, rearing their verjured crowns aloft. If the ocean water were gone, can you picture it? A new world, greater in area than all the land we now have. They would call the former sea level the zero height, perhaps. The depths would go down as far beneath it as Mount Everest towers above it. Aeroplanes would fly down into them. And I can imagine the settlement of these vast new realms. New little nations being created born of man's indomitable will to conquer every adverse condition of inhospitable nature. A novel setting for a story of adventure? It seems so to me. Can you say that the oceans will never drain of their water? That an earthquake will not open a rift some day in the future and lower the water into subterranean caverns? The volume of water of all the oceans is no more to the volume of the earth than a tissue paper wrapping on an orange. Is it too great a fantasy? Why, reading the facts of what happened in 1929, it is already prognosticated. The fishing banks off the coast of Newfoundland have suddenly sunk. Cable ships repairing a broken cable snapped by the earthquake of November 18, 1929, report that for distances of a hundred miles, on the Grand Banks, the cables have disappeared into unfathomable depths. And before the subterranean cataclysm, they were within 600 feet of the surface. And all the bottom of that section of the North Atlantic seems to have caved in. 10,000 square miles dropped out of the bottom of the ocean. Fact, not fancy. And so let us enlarge the picture. Let us create the lowlands, 20,000 feet below the zero height, the setting of a tale of adventure, the romance of the mist-shrouded deeps, and the romance of little Jetta. End of Forward